Alright, let's see what's going on here, guys. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick! Thank God! You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. Hmm, your story so... with Nick? What's the story with you and Nick? That is not important right now. You have to help me find my daughter. Well, we're, we're here, here to help. help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Okay, let's see. Well, let's see if we've got any leads. Do first. you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. I'm not going to ask for money. We'll find her. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Option question them further. Okay, that might not be a bad idea. I know this isn't the most interesting thing, but you got to really talk to Mr. people Nakano. here. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but... You said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her. Got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Now she could be just a teenager. <laughs> Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just Must wanted to right strip there. it for parts, or build a toaster out of it, or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? All right, nothing No more for questions now. right now. Work quickly, detective. All right, let's see what Ray has to say. Mrs. Nakano, I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Let's see... Let's see you her and reasons. your husband don't seem to agree 
about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Hmm. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Uh, wait a minute. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. No, it's nothing. I don't want to distract you, Detective. Shoot. Yeah, my persuasion of powers are not all that great. Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. Mm-hmm. All right, I think Nothing that's all else we got. Right now. Yeah, we're not going to get much out of them, but... All right, looks like... Okay, here we go. Kasumi's Project's holotapes. Let's take that. And... There's another one. Kasumi's Project Television. I don't know if we should play all these. Or just pick them up for now. Is he really getting a drink? <laughs> Help yourself there, Nick. Let's see. A nuka cherry there. Okay. I don't see any more. Take a look around here. Curio. I wish I could find some. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another tape. Kusumi's Project's Kitchen. Of a mitt. <laughs> Covered saucepan. I would seriously take a couple of aluminum cans if you got them. No, not a pepper mill. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. I think I found all the tapes down here that that probably goes outside. Yeah, the homes here are really small. Okay, here's another one. Kasumi's Project Lamp. Water degree dress. That's the bed. Not in the best of shape. Everything looks a little dingy. Shaveless lamp. Vaulted floral base. Mm. Looks this like this is Kasumi's room. I say, Let's see kinda... if she left any clues about where she went. Chessboard, toy rocket ship. Mole, mole rat meat. Clearly, a lot of these mole rats. I thought that was a tin can. Let's see. Okay, here's another. Another one. Got duct tape in there. You can always use duct tape. That's just a bottle. Another one. The radio. That one we might want to play for sure. Let's see. Taking a look under here to see if there's something. Ooh, greaser jacket and jeans. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything more in here. She's been fiddling around with a lot of stuff, but. Ooh, the TV He's dinner tray. A collection or something? Well, heck yeah, that's aluminum, dude. Vegetable starch? Might need that. <laughs> you never know. I think that's all there is in the house. Let's see if there's anything. Well, we could take a look and see what we have in the inventory here. Could listen to some of these. It's 
probably under miscellaneous, so it's under Kasumi, I would imagine. Yep, she's got a lot. Let's listen to radio one. Project log, radio. Correction, working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Hmm. I don't know how important these Project are. Project Log, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also yeah, I'm not getting much out of this so far. Just a few tapes. Well, we could check out here and see if there's anything. She seemed to lay these tapes anywhere she wanted to. All right, this is the old boathouse where her grandfather Let's keep was. Looking. Need to figure out what Kasumi's story was, why she left. All right, let's come in here. Yeah, this is definitely where her grandfather was. Let's see, bone saw, more wonder glue. Oh, wait a minute. Forty-five rounds. That's always good to have. More wonder glue. God knows what they're making out of this stuff. Empty paint can. Oh, here we go. Got a gas canister. There's a safe. This takes expert. So it's not going to be easy. Ah. So I got plenty of bobby pins. It's not a problem. There we go. That's it. Okay, what do we got in here? We got military grade duct tape, and we've got our final hollow tape. Now I'm sure this is going to tell us what we need. So we need to go back to inventory, miscellaneous. Final holotape. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synths. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Far Harbor. Kind of like Bar Harbor. <laughs> Let's see what this dreams is about, too. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. 
She could very well so be a set. daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Yeah. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the daughter, Kasumi, is a synth. These two just adopted her for something. Let's see what he's got to say now. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Okay. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Let's see. Since now, she could have been replaced. That's how synths work, Mrs. Nakano. They replace people. This could have happened recently. I know my own daughter. She's not a synth. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. Hmm. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Fine, Kasumi. Please. So you can tell them, if you want to, about the synth re refuge. I don't think I want to do that, though. Well, Nick, what should we do next? Hey. What's the plan? Hey, Valentine. Got something for me? Your thoughts? I uh, used to wonder how folks lasted as long as they have out here. But now I know. It's thanks to people like you. Nothing else for now. All right. All right, we got to figure out, I think, if we're going to go to Far Harbor. Might want to take some armor, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just don't know which kind to take. The XO1s need, I don't know, need some upgrades in my opinion. Let's see. If I could only upgrade the leg. Alright, let me see, Nick. So, you know, going over it in my head, that whole conversation we had where I pretty much said you were my only friend, did that sound nuts? Who is this dude? What conversation? Just when I was running my mouth before about moving to Diamond That's City Piper. and the paper and Nat. I just want to make sure it didn't sound as crazy coming out of my mouth as it does thinking it over again. I don't think it was any more than usual, though that's a pretty high bar. Oh, good. So long as it's consistent. 
It's just been a long time since I've had someone like you in my life. Hell, might be I never did. I just wanted to say thanks. I really don't think I could ask for a better friend. You can get ro romance with Piper? No, I'm not gonna do that. That's a thanks, little... Thanks, Piper. That means a lot to me. You're welcome. I just, uh, wish there was more I could do to show it, other than watching your back. And thanks, again, for hearing me out. You wanna get moving? Yeah, I might take Piper with me this time. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Eh, I don't know. Nick's kind of in on this, though, too. You know what? <sighs> Never mind. You know where to find me. Okay, let's see here. Another day in the Commonwealth. I don't know, this is XO2 Mark IV. This is Hellfire Mark VI. Which might be pretty good darn thing to have. Let's see this one. Nothing stays hidden forever. Got Let's two see. of them. Not if I have my say. They're all in good shape. The only problem with this one is I only have a. I can't fix. Seem to fix the leg. I don't know why. Made it another day in the Commonwealth. Lucky us. Wait a minute, let me go ahead and see if I can't make repairs here. What is a nice little setup. Wouldn't mind one of these at the agency. Let's see here. We've got this one here. Available mods. Let's modify it. Yeah, let's take it up to the Mark V. We've got it. There we go. Can't get the Mark VI yet. I don't think. Nope, we need repairs. That is about as built up as we can get it, guys. I think we need to take this one. Now that's the toughest suit we've got. Alright. We are ready to go, and we are going to go to Far Harbor. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to be up against here, guys, so... This is the boat. Hello, kitty cat. He looks completely normal. Just like dog meat. No... Nothing weird about him. Now, how do we take this darn thing? Let's see. Oh, we go over here. See boat controls activate. Leave the Commonwealth. Travel to Far Harbor. Oh, cool. Here we go. All right. I don't see where I don't see Nick. Am I going by myself? of the island. Welcome to Fahaba. That's how you say Fahaba, Maine. Fahaba, Maine. Been there, actually. Cool place. Beautiful. Okay, looks a little rough out here.
thought Nick was coming with me. Yeah, maybe I'm on my own. Good thing it's got a guidance system. I wouldn't have a clue on how to make it work. Yeah, looks like a nice little town. I wasn't nobody. Next shipment's three days out. Wait, that's not one of mine. Jesus, keys out, Alan. We got visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. There's Nick. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We have, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, right. we might not be able to rescue you in time. What in the world are we being attacked by? Man the hull! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. What in God's green earth is coming on here? Eyes peeled, everyone. Is it a monster? Okay. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers. Oh, God. Gulpers. Yourselves. Ready all. These are gulpers? Holy crap. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hunters, look out! Hunters? No. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Oh boy, something big. Oh shoot. Anglers! Rally! Defend the hole! Jesus. Wow, what the heck are they launching? We're clear. All right. Well done, all. Open the gate. The hull took a battering. Be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. 
They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Mm. Well, besides Captain Avery. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. For good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Eagle's Cove Good. Tannery. Alright. Get the power tools. Got my first Bahaba mission. Fahaba mission. Meet Captain Avery. Help Cassie Dalton. You been to the tannery? You find my tools yet? Oh, she's gonna keep doing that, huh? Let's see. Lovely fog. Let's see. Okay, we need to go talk to her any soon. Avery! And now you see what we're up against. Yep. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Ah. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. Mm. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those Children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Children of Adam? What's the deal with the Children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough! That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Hmm. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. <laughs> What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> so 
Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. You ain't armed. You ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? Let's barter. Happily. Okay, let's see if there's anything that he could take. What if he's got any aluminum? Ooh, that I need. That I need. Let's see. And shotgun shells. <laughs> That's another thing I need. Let's see. Fisherman's overalls. Hmm. Couldn't get that anywhere else. Fog crawlers. So that's all new. They do have fusion cores if we need them. Good to know. Gober slurry. <laughs> so they eat everything, don't they? Ooh, now we got harpoon guns. That's cool. I want one of those. Yeah, I've only got two fusion cores. I need to make the most out of them. Uh. Well, I could still use some sh shells. Yep, I'm buying all he has. Alright. Got some stuff from him that I needed. Shotgun shows was the biggest loved one. Ones with my fine hand cannons. Let me see. I did somehow. I got too much to drink. I need to get. So I got myself addicted to alcohol of all things. So let me see if we can't get that fixed up. That should cure that. All right. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. You need it? Sandra? The, shop's got the children of Adam are trying to kill us all. Drive us into the ocean. Hey, Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving from the lack of it. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. Show me what you got. Make it fast. Okay, so he has weapons. That's good. He might have other things that I don't normally able to get. Let's see. So why do they have... Well, it looks... Oh, he sells all kinds of stuff. So they both sell things. Hmm. 
Well, I'd like to get some more shotgun shells. I need as many of them as I need, can get, because that's the best weapon I've got. Well, I need to find the bar. Wherever that is. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Who's this guy? Excuse me. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Wait. No. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Okay, well, who's Andre? Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fall. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. Can I help him? I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, there's no harm letting you have a poke, but I'll be watching you. Okay, where's Andre then? Okay, he's over here. Let's see what I can do to help. I might have some rat away on me. Food, stim packs, fully stuffed. Hey there. So this must be the bar, the last plank. Old Longfellow knows what he's about. Everyone! Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't don't like see the service, any better way the of greeting it than to have another round. On the how! Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Interesting. Where's this Andre guy? Well, I thought that's where I was being led. Yeah, I'm not really ready to talk to Longfellow yet. Want to help Andre? Heck. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, very nice. Hey. You did drown your troubles? Dr. Oh, Mitch, the last plank. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. <laughs> You'll need your wits about you. 
because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some fell ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Eliminate the feral ghouls. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Looks like I got all kinds of new missions to do. I'll be damned if I give up on taking back my land. Fresh shipment. All your medical and food needs. Yeah, I need to find this Andre guy. Get them while they're in stock. The leaves sell guns. Over by the tourist shop. Let's see if the old mariner's here. Fog. It's dangerous. Okay. Damn what model power armor's at? Ghouls. Nice. And damn the island for sending them after Petey. What the hell is a synth, anyway? Eh, we take it one day at a time. Don't talk to Bertha. She's crazy. Harbor woman. If the fog doesn't get us, the storms will. What makes you think I want to talk to you? That's long, fellow. Debbie? Hey there. You want a drink? What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an islander favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. Maybe. Just flag me over if you need me. Okay. Well, let's go check out this place a little bit. Maybe we could find the Mariner. Fortify your gut against the fog. With whiskey! Ha-ha! <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> These are just places to sleep, I guess. Typewriter. Fine, the cats do not belong on top of chairs, tables, or any place a pan customer to sit, period. Firmly Mitch. <laughs> okay. Now, we don't want to steal anything. That's Burns less. The belly, but gets the job done. Get it now. So you can basically get a room up here, I assume. Damn, I really could use that surgical tray.